Did you ever dream about being an astronaut? Maybe you dreamt about being a famous ballerina. Maybe you dreamt about riding on Pegasus and going so fast on a horse until it flew off into the air. Maybe you dreamt about being a fireman. Maybe you dreamed about being a race car driver. <laughs> Maybe your greatest dream was to be a mommy. Your children have fantasies. One of the most fun things you can do is help them to fulfill them, even in a small measure. Let's talk about fun fantasies. I actually really love fantasy. I know people who are like, oh, I can't read that, and I only like reading things that are realistic. So this whole dragon thing or traveling through time thing or just, uh, you know, there are a lot of people who really can't do fantasy. I get that. I actually love to read it, and I really do love dragon stories. My favorite video game is a dragon game, and my very favorite movie is How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah. But how in the world do you do this for one another as married people or within your family unit for your children? Or how do you, how do, you do that? Okay, let's talk about this for a little while. So you have a child and they've always dreamt of being an astronaut. So you let them go to space camp or you take them to a NASA facility, whether you take them out to Texas or you take them to Fort Canaveral down in Florida. Uh, there are lots of ways to explore what this looks like. You take them to the Stennis Space Center down in Alabama. There are ways for them to get a sense of things and start to fulfill just a little bit of what some of their great fantasy is. A kid who's always dreamt about being a fireman, you can take him to a firehouse and ask the fire chief to show him around and talk to him what it's like and show him the fire truck and explain to him some of the equipment and what that means. You have a daughter, and I kid you not, I think this is a big deal. I knew a girl in a wheelchair, so she was never going to be able to dance, but she had always wanted to be a dancer. So her folks took her to a theater where the dancers were rehearsing. You know, this took a little doing, so I want you to know that often these can't just be done right off the cuff. It might involve some planning. She got to see the rehearsal. She actually got to go up on the stage. She got to stand in the midst, well, sit in her wheelchair, but you understand what I mean, in the midst of these dancers going around her and hear the music and see the movement. So it was a part of her fantasy, and it was very beautiful to her. Find ways to help your kids' fantasies come true, even a little bit. It's so fun. It's fun for you as a parent to get to witness this. It's fun for the kids to get to have a part of this and know that they are so important to you. And their dreams and the things that they long for are really important to you. Find a way to make it happen. Let me tell you, I think that it's important as husband and wife, as a spouse, to, to learn what really matters to them. They might not even feel okay telling it to you. It might be such a far back memory for them or something that they don't feel like anyone would be able to accept, that they might get a lot of ridicule or a lot of pushback on it, you need to sit down and say, honey, you know, what is one of the great fantasies of your life? Maybe it's to climb Kilimanjaro. Maybe it's to go hunting big game in Africa. Uh, maybe it's to ski in the Swiss Alps. I don't know. And it doesn't matter. It matters that you care enough to listen and say, why wow, do you think we could ever do that? I mean, maybe there's a way we could manage that. No kidding. It might take us five years to save up and we might have to wait till, you know, Edward gets through college. But then I think that we really need to aim for this. I think it's possible. If it's always been, oh, I've always wanted to go to Vienna and hear a concert where Mozart played. Okay. Then you start saving up some cash because it's going to take that and you start preparing. I think it's important that we know then in the richness of our minds and thoughts and in the desires and longings of our hearts, in those fantasies of our life, there's a lot of fun and there's a lot of reward. And we need to make commitments that we're going to listen to and care about the fantasies of the people in our world and do our best to see if some of those things can't in fact become a part of our reality. 
<laughs> you get the idea, I'm hoping, that in all of life and its mundane, boring, routine, structured, ordinary parts, and that is real life, there's nothing wrong with it, that we need to leave some room, some room for fantasy and some room for fun. I hope this has been really helpful to you. My challenge question for you today, mom, dad, what is your great fantasy? Is there anything you can do to make some part of it come into fruition so that you can experience that fulfillment and that fun? Because when you see that as a possibility, you can see it as a possibility to bring about some of the fantasies of your children. And it will make your life really amazingly richer. <laughs> it's been so good having you with me today on Paint a Beautiful Picture. You may find additional information on our paintabeautifulpicture.com website. Additionally, you may watch me on Rumble, and you may also listen to a podcast on Buzzsprout or Spreaker, all under the name Paint a Beautiful Picture. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. You may subscribe, and if you are interested in receiving notifications, please hit the notifications button.